A very good evening and welcome to f- today's final edition of Yes 101 Visual Radio for the news first team. I'm Tinal Tilaka Ratna. And I'm Sharanya Bevikrama. Before moving on to your stories in detail, these are your headlines. News first headline. Dry weather to intensify in the coming days. IGP aims to completely eradicate drugs and the underworld using Operation Yuktia. In your international news, Iceland lava flows slow after fourth eruption since December. In sports, 28 years since Sri Lanka won the World Cup in 1996. In your top story the med department warned of rising temperatures tomorrow across many parts of Sri Lanka particularly in the northwest north central eastern and western provinces the heat index the temperature felt on human body is expected to increase up to caution level in the monoragala mana ratnapura and vaunia districts residents in these areas are advised to exercise caution and follow health and safety measures Of the local news minister of education dr susil premajan has stressed that sports events in schools should be held after the singular and tamil new year in response to the minister's request news first correspondents reported that sports events at many schools across sri lanka have been postponed meanwhile the med department has warned of a further increase in dry weather over the next few days Director General of the Med Department Atula Karunanayake said that from the 22nd of March some parts of Sri Lanka may experience showers in the evening. However, he said that this won't be enough to alleviate the prevailing dry weather conditions. He said that since the sun will be at its peak from the 5th of April to the 15th of April, the heat may increase. The highest temperature in the 24-hour window ending at 8:30 a.m. today was recorded in Kurunagala at a value of 38.3 degrees Celsius. The hottest temperature in Colombo was 33.9 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the National Building Research Organization says that the air quality index in some areas across Sri Lanka has dropped. The NBRO said that people residing in Kurunagala, Badulla and Andradapura districts are among the affected. Reports suggest that the AQI stands at 102 units in Kurunagala, 106 units in Badulla and 104 units in Andradapura. The NBRO has urged the public to exercise caution given the current situation. Meanwhile, the dry weather has resulted in an increase in various illnesses. Health authorities warned that the dry weather and direct sunlight can contribute to skin conditions. Meanwhile, Inspector General of Police Deshbandu Tenakon said that he aims to completely eradicate drugs and the underworld using Operation Yuktia. He expressed these views today at a meeting with the Jaffna Community Police. A meeting for the Jaffna Community Police was held today under the chairmanship of Minister of Public Security Tiranallis. Inspector General of Police Deshbandu Tenakon and others attended the event. The war in Sri Lanka persisted for 30 years. Heroin addiction remains a significant issue. Combating this issue requires a multi-pronged approach. While a successful operation Yuktia can strengthen the police, addressing the root causes of addiction and providing rehabilitation programs are crucial. The alarming trend of drug use among school children requires immediate action. Drug addiction fuels violent crime with countless individuals trapped in the cycle. Motorcycle gunmen are very common. This problem is beyond geographical boundaries affecting both the north and the south. Operation Yuktia is aimed at eradicating drug trafficking and the underworld. The initial success within the first 3 months is encouraging. We can be optimistic that continued efforts will significantly reduce drug trafficking and crime, allowing Sri Lankans to live safely and freely anywhere in the island. Since launching this operation we have made tough decisions and demonstrated strong leadership building on this progress i pledge today to eliminate drug trafficking and the underworld from these areas we will take the strongest possible action to achieve these goals your support is crucial if you provide us with information i guarantee that we will act upon it without any political influence novi kisima deshapalana balapayamakata yatat novi me kartavya karanda man porundu wenawa 
International News. In your news overseas, lava flows from a volcano in southwest Iceland that had lit up night sky yesterday appear to slow today, but authorities said they still posed a danger to infrastructure, including a nearby fishing town. The eruption, the fourth since December, began on Saturday, sending fountains of molten rock soaring from a roughly three kilometer long fissure, roughly the same size and at the same place as the last eruption in February. Sports News. And in sports, it's been 28 years since the Sri Lanka cricket team, head, headed by Arjuna Ranthunga, won the World Cup back in 1996. In 1996, on a day like today, Sri Lanka took on the cricketing powerhouse Australia in the finals of the ICC ODI World Cup at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. Sri Lanka beat Australia by seven wickets on that day to clinch the ultimate glory in the cricketing world. Batting first in the World Cup, Final, Australia put up a total of 241 runs for the loss of seven wickets in their allocated 50 overs. In response, Sri Lanka chased down this total in just 46 overs and two balls while only losing three wickets. Sanaj Jayasuriya was named the man of the series while Aravinda De Silva was crowned as man of the match. And that's a wrap of your visual radio for this Sunday evening. Have a great weekend.